the two ways your cells breathe. Why do you think there are two ways to breathe? Slow belly breathing and fast chest breathing. The reason there are two different ways to breathe is because your cells have two different modes that they operate in. Your cells have a calm mode and an emergency mode. When your cells are operating in the calm mode, first of all, they're using oxygen. They're operating very efficiently. There's no waste, but there's also very little power. When your cells are operating in the emergency mode, they're working without oxygen. It's very inefficient, but it's very high power. And there's an acid waste product. You should start to see the parallel between the aerobic calm mode of your cells and belly breathing. And you should also start to see the parallel between anaerobic emergency mode of your cells and chest breathing. Are you saying that by breathing better, I can make my cells work better? That is exactly what I'm saying. An artificially fast breathing rate prevents oxygen from entering the cell. When you restore the appropriate breathing rate, you then allow the oxygen back into the cell. Your cells need oxygen to operate efficiently. Now I'm going to give you a few examples. Suppose you're walking down the road and you see someone run out of gas right in the middle of the road. So you want to go push the car to the side. As soon as you realize that you are needed right away, you will start chest breathing in anticipation of what's soon to follow. Then you'll run to the car and push the car. It's a good thing that you're chest breathing because you're going to be working so hard you produce a lot of acid and you're going to need to breathe that acid out. So here's an example where your anaerobic metabolism matches your chest breathing and it's going to allow you to push the car out of the way. Presumably, once the car is out of the way, you'll go back to your walking and, and you'll recover. Example number two. Suppose you're lying on the beach. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. You're on vacation. There's no threat. Your brain is so relaxed, it's going to tell your belly to just belly breathe really, really slow. Your cells are going to be running an oxygen metabolism, very efficient. And here's another example to where your efficient metabolism means very little waste, which means no need to breathe fast, and your metabolism here matches your breathing. Next example. Suppose, for whatever reason, you have poor conditioning and your cells are just not very strong. In that case, your cells are always having to work extra hard. And when they work extra hard, they will be forced to use their anaerobic metabolism. And when they use an anaerobic metabolism, they're going to produce a lot of acid. And when you produce a lot of acid, you will start breathing faster in order to expel the acid in the form of carbon dioxide. So here's an example where poor conditioning leads to chest breathing. Next example. Understand this example and you'll understand how most disease develops and how you are going to be able to prevent it with a Frolov device. In this last example, your breathing doesn't match your metabolism because your perception doesn't match reality. I'll give you a general example that you can relate to. Think about a time when you're worrying about something that makes you sort of alert and a little bit anxious, but the thing you're worrying about you have no control over and you can't resolve it. So for now, we'll just presume that you're sitting in your chair and you're worrying if your friend is going to be okay who's going on a trip. As soon as you're in that mode, your brain is thinking it has to be prepared to do something. And so it kind of winds up. It tells your chest to start breathing to get ready for whatever this is that you have to get ready for. So you start hyperventilating. But the actual activity never follows and so you end up with low carbon dioxide in your blood from the hyperventilation. Now this doesn't have to be dramatic. In fact, usually it's not dramatic. It's just a small amount of hyperventilation caused by worry over a long period of time. 
the chemistry in your blood is altered in the form of low carbon dioxide. Low carbon dioxide causes low oxygen in your cells. And that's because your cells absorb oxygen when there's carbon dioxide produced, which makes sense because carbon dioxide is the waste product of oxygen metabolism. So essentially, worrying about things you can't control causes low oxygen in your cells. Once you have low oxygen in your cells, that means your cells are running anaerobic. They have no choice at that point. When your cells run anaerobic, what do they do? They produce acid. And when your cells produce acid, you have to get rid of the acid somehow and you will hyperventilate in an attempt to get rid of the acid. So what are we going to do about this cycle, this pattern that we tend to be stuck in? That's where the Frolov device comes in. Here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to train your breathing in a quiet environment. And then we're going to train belly breathing, which tends to relax you and also tends to facilitate an oxygen metabolism. Not only that, we're going to slow your breathing down gradually. When you slow your breathing down, you will increase the carbon dioxide in your blood and you will allow the oxygen to go into your cells, which further enhances oxygen metabolism. Also, since you're breathing in through water, it makes the chemistry of the air you breathe more favorable to an oxygen metabolism. And that's because the air you're breathing in will be higher carbon dioxide and slightly lower oxygen. Once you start to get your cells running aerobic, they'll produce less acid. Then there's less need for hyperventilation. Most of the benefits are simply because your cells are going to be running more efficiently because they're going to be running in an oxygen metabolism most of the time and your breathing is going to become belly breathing most of the time. Thank you for listening. For more information on the Frolov respiratory training device, go to healthbyyourself.net.